Now the artist is with his drawing. Does that help? No. Doesn't matter, it's still good enough. Hey, welcome back to Road to Pro. We have an important workout today. We are focusing on some certain body parts here and I drew this diagram, my friend Freddie here. I used to draw this in Spanish class a lot. So that's why it's actually really good. So this is me without the chest, the traps, and the shoulders. Eh, my shoulders are closed, but without the chest and traps and biceps. Today's workout, we are changing our training a bit. With this show coming up, there's some body parts I need to bring up. So I thought, why not take you guys through my workout today before we work out? So we're using the whiteboard here, and this is what we're gonna target. We have chest going down first. We're gonna do three exercises. That's what that number's there for. We're gonna do chest first. So three exercises. We're gonna start off with some push-ups, good old-fashioned push-ups. We're gonna use some blocks. We get a deeper of a stretch, a resistance band. We're gonna get blood flow just all in the chest. Exercise one. Exercise two is going to be a Smith machine incline press. Exercise three is going to be a fly. You good? Exercise four, we're not going into shoulders. Since my shoulders are very developed, especially in the front delt area, I do not need to hit front delts. I've realized that. So we're only going to be focusing on the side delt to keep them full and plump. That's it. Traps, I wrote one here. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of volume, so we're gonna put two just because of the volume. We're gonna do two trap exercises here. We're gonna focus on the top of the traps and the bottom of the traps. I'll show you a little bit later. Then we're gonna finish off with biceps. We have two exercises here. We're gonna focus on curls, because that's fucking biceps, you're just gonna curl. Thank you, Freddie, for being a good diagram. And the goal here is to get a chest like Fre Freddie's name or Teddy? Freddie? Freddie. <laughs> yeah. That's our goal. We're trying to grow this upper chest portion and the fullness. And the arms. Yeah. See, the abs are kind of close to mine. They are. The legs yeah. aren't too bad either, but we just need this, this, and this. So that's what we're going to fucking do today. Oh, whoa. There's a little bit of this. Wait, so I'm talking about the pre now. So you want to get a big pump. What do you take to get a big pump in the gym? Well, Pre-workouts are here and handy for us to, you know, give us some caffeine and give us some ingredients to enhance our pump. Nitric oxide ingredients, everything like that. Me personally, I don't take a lot of caffeine because it actually inhibits your pump. It's a vasoconstrictor, which is not what you want for a big pump. So what I'm rocking here is one scoop of pump serum, which is zero caffeine, and one scoop of a mixed pre-workout of some caffeine and some pump. The cheapest pump ingredient you could also use yourself Fuck ton of salt. Doesn't it just like taste like salt water? Now? That's a lot of salt, bro. Here's how I am. If I'm about to go work out, you don't care. Number one, you're gonna sweat it out. Yeah. You need electrolytes, which is gonna help keep you hydrated in your workout. And also, this is about maybe seven ounces of water. You can survive the amount of salt <laughs> that's in here and just quickly take a shit like a shot of it. You know, don't be a bitch. So you're worried about the salt? Yeah. I'm worried about with the carbonation I put in here before. Yeah. Carbonation, Ooh. salt, let's see how it goes. Like a champ. <sighs> Wasn't bad at all. Not a, <laughs> not a face made. <laughs> joking. <laughs> Time to get the big old pump we're talking about. What the fuck happened? You just broke your keychain. Damn it, dude. It's what I get for trying to be cool. I'm never doing that again. Fuck. Nothing better than a warm, the first warm day of spring. It's 80 degrees, garage doors open. It's hot in here. It feels so good. That'll be a fat pump. It's gonna be a good ass workout, bro. This ain't what you want. This ain't what you want. Ha! 1600 block. I just wanna rock. I just wanna. I just wanna rock. Body out of ya. Shorty got that body out of ya. Hit it once, no time. Side up, fuck, you gon' kill my vibe. Stand on my money, don't know my size. Pick them sides. And you better choose wisely. That's my heart. One, two, three, four, throw up the fives.
That's my heart. Damn. One, two, three, four, five, 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 five. Project, project, this ain't hey, what hey, you hey, want. Hey, this hey, ain't what you hey, want. That shit kind of crazy. That's the best trust activation I've ever had. They pump. They fucking pump. Do we get the pump in the areas I talked about, like Freddy? I hope so. I know so, bro. You didn't see it? I did see they it. see it? You guys see it? It's pretty good, right? We had really good chest activation. The traps, shit. Biceps, not bad. It's growing time. Fuck yeah, it is, bro. New game plan set. We're gonna look a little different on the stage in five weeks. Like the video. I'm gonna start asking now. Please like the video. <laughs> it only helps, you know, my video used to get pushed to more people. And more people could follow the series and the journey. My dad's calling. Let's answer this. Hello, Pops. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Were you here today? No. You weren't? No, don't, don't, don't lie. Cause... I was not. You were not? I promise you I was not. Okay. Well, How's everything? Uh, more concerned about what's going on over there. Did like, something happen? No, it just... I came home from work and the... Recycled garbage pails were up on the driveway. 
instead of down by the street. Something very shattering. All right, well, that's good, but... All right. Yeah, no, I'm all good. That was, Go ahead. That was the thing last night. Dude, the paranormal circus was very fun. All right, cool. Yeah. Cool. Very cool, Dad. Uh, Hello? Yeah, what's up? What are you doing today? What am I doing today? I just wrapped up the gym, I'm recording for YouTube at the moment, and uh, about to pick up some packages and then go talk about supplements. Oh, you know, I was thinking too, probably cover it anyway, but when you make your announcement about huge, you should say, you know, it's very flattering all the companies that send me stuff. Know, and blah blah blah. I agree, Dad. Dad, you, know, you raised me very right. I appreciate that, and I will definitely include that and thank all the companies I spoke to. All right. All right, Dad. Have a good one. Thank you. You too. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye bye. All right, and just like Mr. Mantello said, I personally, Anthony Mantello, like to thank every single company I spoke to. Thank you for taking the time, you know, out of your out of your day to reach out to me to potentially onboard me to your team. Thank you for sending me your products for me to try. Very nice of everyone that I spoke to. You companies know who you are, so thank you. All right, post-workout meal. You can utilize supplements here, you can utilize whole food. Me being on prep, I like using a protein powder post-meal because you know what, it tastes good and I like to limit myself to two protein powder serving meals a day. 35.9, so that means 71. All right, so I'm using 50 grams of protein powder. You can use any pro protein powder you like. As you guys saw in my last couple of videos, I've been heavily enjoying this one. So I'm using it for the whey drip today. We're gonna make 75 grams of carbs from uh, cream of rice, 50 grams of protein, and then some pineapple. And that'll be our post-workout meal. Right, this is my, I have a favorite spoon I use for this meal. And this is it. See it right there? <laughs> it's like a baby spoon, but it's like nice. It just like, it comes off the spoon beautifully. All right, so when I use 50 grams of protein for the whey drip, I like to literally put about 50 grams of water in there. So that's where I start at, and then we'll see how thick it is, and then we'll put it in the freezer. That's a little too thick. So now I'll just start eyeing it up. I don't want like a, yeah. I'm liking a little bit, a little bit more watery. Let's test it. Oh, it's a tad bit more, dude. Dude, what? I know, I know. I could ruin it, but <laughs> it also could make it perfect. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm gonna let this freeze for a good amount too. <laughs> like 10 minutes, 15 oh, minutes. Jesus. I'll clean around the house, bro. Yeah, Yo. that's good. <sighs> okay, goodbye for now. We'll eat at 15. Five o'clock, we'll eat at 515. There's a couple of things I have to worry about today. I have to open up these packages. But as you guys, if you've been following the series, you know I'm looking for a new car. I'm getting rid of my two cars that I have. Brittany, my first car that... That's my alarm for what I'm about to tell you guys about. Brittany's the first car. Um, she has a special place in my heart. I saved up. Before I got into fitness YouTube or anything like that, $18,000 of my own money through lifeguarding, through busboying, through my like hustle jobs when I was in high school. Um, put that down payment on the car, and then when I started doing this, when I was like 18, I was able to pay the car off you know, right away. And then I got Rosa a couple years later. Um, Rosa's the R8. It's cool having like that cool car, but like I don't need it. I just want to get something in between now of like the Mercedes. I love as a daily driver, super just comfortable, luxurious. And I want to, to my C300s, a V4, 200 something horsepower. So I just want something a little bit more of a pickup, but also has that comfortability as a daily driver. And I have a coupe, they're both two doors. So I want a four door car that's still slick like a coupe. And I found a car and it's a bid, it's online. So we're gonna see how it goes. Never done this before. All right, let's go look at the car. Right, let's see if a bid got placed. Yep, okay, ends in 23 minutes. What's the car? All right. Porsche Panorama GTS. Well, I like used cars to a slight degree because brand new, a lot, a lot of money. 
what I like with the higher end cars that have some mileage, so the price is a little lower. Like one owner, clean Carfax type of thing, you know? Kind of the vibe I'm going for. You guys want to see it? I'll show you. I'm sure they want to see it. You guys want to see it? Come here. Okay. 24K miles, twin turbocharged, 4 liter V8. Not too bad. What's MSRP on this vehicle? So what's the price brand spanking? I don't want to show that. That's, that's too much. But then what's the bid price? Well, I'm curious. I feel like I feel like a bunch of people are just gonna go like piranhas because I've never done a bid before. So I'm like just kind of watching it as a noob. I I would love to dream and hope I can get it. <laughs> All right, MSR, MSRP for a brand new in 2020 is 180k. A lot of money. A lot of money. The bid's like my goal is to sell my R8, which I gained value on the car. It looks like online through quotes and shit. When I sell that car, I'll already be like putting more money in the bank, and then I'll have like this too, a new car money in the bank for my cars so it's like upgrading but also kind of downgrading on the car mm -hmm. value i'm spending out as you know mm -hmm. that makes sense i can't like, i'm not fully good at english but i can like give yeah. ideas out I'm, I'm so bad at speaking dude it sucks literacy is my worst uh subject in school i liked math you know what numbers 45 yes. plus 45 90 but grant it was i wasn't like honors math i wasn't in algebra i wasn't in like pre-cac pre -cac. No. Yeah, you're right. Pre cal Thank you. Calculus. You know those like college courses kids took in high school and stuff? I didn't take those. Oh, I took those. I didn't take honors. I was in the basic math and I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite subject. I was an AP. AP, that's what it's called. Yep. Never took an AP class. Advanced placement. Mm -hmm. Nope, not me. <laughs> Were you in one like I was, in, I was in honor science. Yeah, like, uh, why the fuck am I here? <laughs> yeah, because I was like border. I was getting 70s. <laughs> then my teacher... I didn't have a good relationship with her. She was just like, hey, like next year, I'm not going to recommend you. And I was like, that's fine. I was like, I don't. I don't want to be recommended. Yeah, cool. But for some reason, honor social studies. I was in honor social studies too. Once again, my grades were the same as like the honors science classes, 70s. They kept recommending me. The teachers liked me. They were cool. I liked my teachers. They had that. They were nice. Mr. S, Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones was great. And then who else? I was in an honors business class. The Jackson Academy of Business so many i have a really like on, honestly a really um not what's not innocent like humble humble all right in 2020 i actually have a video on my youtube channel a road to pro video a couple of maybe like three weeks out and we were a freshman in the jackson academy business our teacher made us write an essay to our future like senior selves like where we see ourselves being in 40 years and stuff like that and within that note i basically said i wanted to be the position i'm in body build videotape it and everything like that i'll show you it's honestly really fucking cute the new people that watch me that never saw this video they'll be like oh shit, that's kind of cool really mm -hmm. hell yeah yeah this anthony. is me Here. younger head hello younger anthony you know I've, I've been doing this for a while guys Yo, check out the hair bro the hair dude oh my god look sadiq's right here and i just met him at the show shook my hand uh this one. Oh, wow. i'm fat here bro Dude, what's the 44 hair? days out. What was the hair? That was quarantine hair, bro. We all had a weird period. Don't hate on me. Jesus, bro. Which one was it? Maybe this one? This is honestly very nostalgic, bro. I don't think it was this one. No. Okay, so. Me and Kyle eating sushi. I remember this. Do you ever eat sushi with you again like that? No. Yeah, LA era, baby. That was fun. Uh, maybe it was this one. Nope. Jeez, oh, it had to be the David Lade one. I remember it. It was the one where David Lade was there. What, the trio's back? No, it's a year after. It's, uh, I didn't click this one yet, so let's click it. Hey. Hey. God dang it. <laughs> That's not the right one. <laughs> so pissed. I thought it was this one. I clicked through every video. Yeah. There's one video I'm missing, but I can't find it. I can't find it. When I sit and like eat and have like food in me and have patience, then you'll try. I'll try to find it again, but right now, no, no, it's irritating me so much. I'm so pissed. Remember the time period? It's the same. Dude, after watching Wesley's victory meal video, I found out how to make it correctly. You use baking powder and fiber. I've been using, I use fiber this morning. If I have too much fiber, like some digestion, like, you know, a little worse digestion for me. So I'm gonna try xanthan gum. It's something I used to use in prep a little bit. 
So we're gonna see how these two mix. Hopefully, good. Uh, xanthan gum makes shit like really fluffy and uh, yep. voluminous. So voluminous. Voluminous. Is that the word? Yes. Voluminous. Yes. What a word. This is one of a lot of Greg Doucette's, uh cookbook videos too. Cookbook recipes. Buy my cookbook. Yeah, I wonder how he's doing. I haven't like. When was the last time when we met at the Olympia? Oh, true. But he, uh, I don't really watch his content mm -hmm. too much. The best meal of the day. I'm happy cream of rice came back into my life. Yeah? Yeah, if you guys followed me for, you know, throughout my journey, 2021, you know, I was a big cream of rice guy. It was very popular on my channel. And then after eating it for so much during that time period, 2022, 2023, I could probably tell you I ate it 10 times. Like, I laid off of it heavy. The way I made it was a little bit different. I would put the cream of rice in, cook it in the microwave, then I just throw the protein powder in it and mix the protein powder. And it made it cakier, but some, for some reason, it was actually struggling to finish the meals. Now, this makes it, I guess, not as much voluminous compared to the other one. And I finished this, and I enjoy it, and I love it. So we'll see what off-season Ant thinks when the time comes, but... 81. Okay, they're all bidding now. See, it's all happening now. Oh, shit. It's much. I don't know, but I like the other car. I don't want to tell about the other car because that one doesn't end right away. Mm -hmm, I don't mm -hmm. want some trolls that are watching this to fuck me up, you know? That's true. That's true. But I have another option I'm watching right now that ends tomorrow. 30 seconds. I'm, I'm like, I don't know. Because I like the other car. Should I get sushi on the fucking phone? Yo. Hey, dude. I'm watching this uh, this bid right now on the Porsche. And you think it would be a, a bad idea to go for this one over the Mercedes? It's at 85? Yeah. And when's the when does it end? Two minutes. Like, it's in that phase of, like, the auction bidding right now, like, the end. Oh, yeah. I see it. I see it now. I'm on the auction. Um, what was your cap? Like 90, maybe we felt like in a lot, like 95, 95. But the Mercedes, the Mercedes is ending tomorrow too. Yeah, what's the Mercedes at? 42. You think that's my better bet? Yeah, to be honest, bro, because the Panamera is a little older. Yeah. And it's going to be a, it's, the Mercedes is going to be a hell of a lot cheaper. All right. All right, cool. I'll just, okay. Yeah, I, I need to hear that. I think will probably end up around like 60, maybe. That's cool. All right. Well, I appreciate that because you just helped me from to not place my money on this. Yeah, no worries. All right, we're going to let it go. We're going to be responsible. We're going to be responsible. We're not going to let pretty images excite me. <laughs> it's in eight seconds, bro. Congrats to this guy. Oh, my God. Is someone coming to the last three, two, one. It got sold. What end up? Eighty six. Wow. That's not bad. I feel like that's a really good deal for this car. Let me. I'll show you. Because that's less than half of the MSR. I know. Or more I, than half. Mm -hmm. Eighty six. Yeah. Seventy two. One hundred seventy two k. Yeah. But so here was the downside with this beautiful car, twenty twenty Porsche. The other car I'm looking at is a twenty twenty one with thirty three hundred miles. Wow, it's like brand new. So it's brand new. And what I'm trying to do. Let's see what the comment is. 50% off, phew, yeah, that's pretty crazy. It did have some damage to it, which obviously Ooh. doesn't help, but it got replaced. It happened back in 2021, I like, fucking, something broke the sunroof, but it got it fully replaced. Let's watch these live comments. Great buy. Yeah. I can't imagine that one. All right, let's start the listing. Here you go. The other car fits me more. 100%, I agree with that. Took a look. Really nice color. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, like that chalk gray? Mm-hmm. What I loved about this was the two sunroofs in the rear and the front. Yeah. So there you go. That's fine. That's fair. I got my real listing I want tomorrow, which it's like it's, it's exciting getting a new car at a degree. I just like with my cars getting older now, my one is a 27. They're both 2017s, actually. So that'd be 2025. So it's time to change it out. Like how we finished our meal. Fucking enjoyable. I want to get situated. So if you couldn't tell by the video so far, after a year, a little bit over a year and a half, I have officially joined another supplement company. And that company being Huge Supplements. I talked to a handful of companies within that time period, um, a lot of them being more recently. And after trying their products, hearing out what the company's vision was, projection, and the products they had, I felt like Huge was the best fit for me. 
and I honestly couldn't be happier. So starting today in this video, uh, I am now a huge sponsored athlete. Emmy says, you can use code ant on huge if you want to buy huge supplements. She did not say that. I said that. <laughs> but yes, code ant works. That's my code for young LA and huge. And that code is now active for huge. So you'll save 10% off with that code. And um, you should show them what, uh, what your go-to products are. I'm going to show you guys all the supplements I take being with huge and also supplements that huge doesn't have to offer that I do take for bodybuilding. So mm -hmm. good idea, Grant. I'll show them. I take a lot of fucking supplements. Holy shit. Health is wealth. I just want to show them to my plan with Kyle to show them that like there's a reason for all this. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So we're going to speed run the supplement list I take for bodybuilding. I don't know what stages you guys are. I'm sure there's, we have some beginners here, some intermediate, some also bodybuilders that take everything that I take, if not more, but I'm going to need guys the rundown because I'm sure many people don't know about everything I take. So here we go. I'll explain it. So every single morning, Probably the first supplement I take is glutamine before I eat. I mix this with my aloe vera juice and the apple cider vinegar. You have seen that in a video before. 10 grams of glutamine a day fasted helps with your gut health. Fiber, this is something I utilize here and there. Depends at the state I'm at. Right now I mix this with my cream of rice and I take about five grams of fiber a day because I get it within my vegetables. Creatine, I take five grams a day like pretty much everyone else does. A monohydrate, don't need anything too crazy. Protein, protein is essentially food. So. If you need to get food inconveniently, protein shakes are great. If you want it in cream of rice or a whey drip, you can also do that. You can make your food taste better. You guys know what protein powder is. So there's a mixture, there's isolates, which are a cleaner version of protein. They digest the best um, and the fastest. So there you go. Now pre-workouts. There's a couple of different pre-workouts some people like to take. Told you guys my pre-workout choice. I like to go with either two scoops of Rect or one scoop of Rect, one scoop of pump serum. EAAs, I've always done this prep and off season, 15 grams of EAAs. And typically in the off season, I have some intra carbs, but since I'm not taking that right now, I don't have it to show you guys. Digestive enzymes and a GDA every single meal. What if I have carbs in the meal, I take a utilize. But digestive enzymes has helped out my gut, my digestion. <laughs> Overall, just, you know, you need a lot of food to grow, whether you're dieting or your bodybuilding in the off season. So digestive enzymes were something I've always lacked and Kyle had in my plan since 2019. <laughs> and I honestly never really used them until probably the last, this last off season, they helped out a lot. So these are the ones I currently take, they're very good. So when you look for a glucose disposal agent, very important ingredients are berberine, 1.5 grams a day helps insulin sensitivity, lower blood sugar. Cinnamon also is a natural um, ingredient you could also take. Now for mainly the health supplements. So being enhanced, being a bodybuilder, I make sure I'm on top of that. So when I get my blood work, I can see what markers I can help, which I actually have blood work on Wednesday, which is in two days from now. So here are my supplements of health. First off, you have a, th this is cool. Uh, Huge sent me this, it's Defend. Has a lot of good ingredients. We have milk, thistle, NAC, Tudka, very good for your li uh, liver. Vitamin D3 I take, I also take it with K2, which I think I ran out, so that's that. Huge had a Tudka, simple ingredient, just Tudka, which is awesome if you need to take more Tudka if you're running, let's just say more orals. <laughs> <laughs> Citrus bergamot, you have to take this fasted. This improves your lipids, your cholesterol level. That's honestly something that most people get lazy with because they forget to take it fasted, but it's important to take it fasted. Helps your cholesterols. Uh, okay. Multivitamin. You guys know what multivitamin is. I honestly take the multivitamin midday because when I take majority of my health supplements in the morning, I don't put a multi in there. It's just, it's just overkill. There's so many ingredients you're also putting into your body. So I like to space this out and I take this post-workout. Yo, Hembine, HCL. It's a fat burning supplement. It's what I take pre-fasted cardio in the morning. I take one pill of this and I'm good. Vitamin C. You guys know what vitamin C is. I do take it as well. I think Kyle has me on two grams a day. Fish oil. So these two are pair up. Kyle has me on more EPA gems, which helped imp improve my blood work. So I'm supersetting this with this for just higher EPA content in my fish oils. Turmeric is a very also good supplement to take for inflammation. You're looking for the curcumin in, in turmeric. Honestly, it's helped me out a lot. And I noticed when I mega dose turmeric, a lot of inflammation just goes down the next day. So Look into turmeric if you deal with a lot of inflammation post-training. Inflammation's good, but if you have inflammation for days, that's not so good. Astragalus, kidney health. I take 12 capsules, 6 in the morning, 6 at night. 
this too. Natokinase. This was a supplement I wasn't very familiar with about. Kyle put me onto it. Mm -hmm. It helped lower my, I think it was my iron and the thickness of my blood. Mm -hmm helps improve that a lot actually and also in turn by thinning out your blood it helps uh lower blood pressure and i also think heart it, health i also think it also removes clots yes yes, yes it does aspirin i take one baby aspirin a day Ooh. also a blood thinner this kyle made me take when i was actually dealing with some gut issues it worked it helped me out so i just continue to take it I take it morning and night this is a stress vitamin just blend and take that at nighttime as well. This shit, I'm not even joking, hibernate. I'm almost out of it, it's so fucking good. Um, my gosh, you will take this and your body, you'll feel like kind of pins and needles go down your body of relaxing. And it's helped me out immensely throughout this prep to be able to go to sleep. So once again, these are all the supplements I take. Do you need all this stuff? It depends. Are you enhanced? What's your blood work look like? Are you trying to optimize muscle growth? Who knows? If you don't really care about it, I don't even take anything. If you want to optimize muscle growth, I would say creatine, EAAs, glutamine, digestive enzyme, utilize like a GDA, intracarbs, maybe cluster dextrin post-workout. Those are some very good supplements to take to pack up muscle, make sure your body's recovering well. And then also, you know, it just depends on where your blood work's at. If you have high cholesterol in your family, you could utilize some of these supplements. So that's everything I take. Another big reason why I decided to sign with Huge is because they have a lot of the shit that I need for bodybuilding. So it was a great fit. I'm excited for the future with Huge. If you guys want to use code ANT, make your purchase. Out of all the protein flavors, tier list them, rapid fire. Go. Depends. Cream of rice, whey drip, that one. Standalone protein powder, birthday cake. My girlfriend shaking her head. It's fucking gas. It's so good. You do the whey drip, you freeze it and you put almond butter on top, it's oh. insane, dude. It tastes just like the for real uh, milkshakes. Okay. Best flavor in general, cake batter, Damn. cocoa madness. Then I would say the cinnamon crunch fruity cereal. And then they have other ones. They have like blueberry, they have all these extravagant flavors with their concentrates, which I'm staying away from right now because of prep. Post show, I'll be able to try them out and give it a shot.